In this tutorial, you will learn how to make a Kurtzkus art bed all in Blender. To start off, you can head over to the Patreon section on their website and get some inspiration to design your own bird. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using this bird as a reference. Now before we move to Blender, we have to block out the basic shapes that makes this bird. Think of it as a paper cutout. For this bird, I've blocked out these specific shapes with rounded off rectangles for legs and the beak, a semicircle for the body and a bean-like shape for the wings and hair, finally a circle for the eye and an oval shape for the tummy of the bird. We'll be using this as a reference image to model our bird and all these files will be available for free to download in the description. Now let's jump into Blender and import our reference image. And if your viewport looks like this, press A to select everything and X to delete everything. And we'll be working on a top-down view to lay out all of our elements. So head over to the gizmo on the right hand corner and click on the blue axis that's marked Z. Now let's bring our reference into the viewport. To do this, we have to head over to edit, go to preferences, under add-ons, search for import images as paints and turn it on. And now we can drag and drop our reference image directly into the viewport. Now you can go to the collection and rename it as reference. And to make sure we don't accidentally move our reference, we can go over to the filters and click on selectable. And now there is an option on the outliner to make it unselectable. So let's make another collection to keep all the parts of the body. Do this by right clicking on the outliner and choose new collection. Make sure you click on the collection and it's highlighted so that every item we add from now on will go inside that collection. So I'm going to start off by making the biggest shape which is the body. First let's move the cursor to the middle of the shape by holding shift and right click. Now let's add a plane to model this shape. Press shift plus A to get to the add menu and click on plane. Press S and move your mouse to scale it roughly to the same size or use the scale tool found in the toolbar. Press Alt plus Z to go in and out of the X-ray mode and this will help with placing the shapes properly. Now with the plane selected, press Tab on your keyboard or set the interaction mode from object mode to edit mode. Select the left two vertices and press Ctrl Shift plus B to bevel the edges. Move your mouse until the bevel fits the curvature of the reference. Also you can increase or decrease the amount of vertices by scrolling the middle mouse button. Once you are happy with the bevel, left click to confirm the action. Now let's do the same to the right vertices, select them both in edit mode. Ctrl Shift plus B to bevel, match it with the reference and add more vertices by scrolling up to get a smoother curve and left click to confirm. Now let's make a circle for the eye. Move the cursor to the center of the eye, Shift plus A to go to the add menu, click on circle. Scale it and move it to the same size as the reference. Now go to edit mode. Press A on your keyboard and select all the vertices and press F to fill the circle. We can now use this eye to make the legs and the beak as well. Select the eye in object mode. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the circle. Move it to where the thighs are. Go back into edit mode. Select and move half of the vertices down to make a pill like shape. We can now use the same techniques to make the legs, feet and the beak of the bird. Now let's move into making the wings. Make a duplicate of the eye and bring it to the midpoint of the wing shape. With our wing selected, go into the interaction mode and select sculpt. Select the grab brush from the toolbar. Now you can shape the vertices to fit the shape. Remember you can increase or decrease the strength and the radius from the header above. And after we are happy with the basic shape, to make the shape smoother, we can go into edit mode with all of our vertices selected. Hit 
right click and select smooth vertices you can do this as many times as you want to adjust the curvature of these lines now you can go to object mode with our wing selected and we are going to duplicate this wing by pressing shift plus d and resize it to fit the shape of the bottom wing for the hair we can use the same shape as the wing but flip it vertically to do this first duplicate the wing and bring it up now go to the scale tool or the transform tool and scale it across the y axis which is marked with the color green now you can duplicate this and resize this hair to fit the other remaining two now to model the right wings we are going to use something called a mirror modifier what this will do is mirror our geometry across the body to do this select one wing in object mode go to the properties panel on the right and click on this wrench icon click on the add modifier and under the generate column click on mirror now we will get this panel here with some properties all we have to do in this instance is to click on the little eyedropper tool and your mouse pointer will turn into an eyedropper with this go and click on the body shape to select it what this will do is mirror our object across the x-axis by having the origin point be that of the body now we can do the same to the other wing as well after both wings are done click on the tiny arrow found in the modifier panel and click apply do this to both wings this will make the wings one unified shape to separate them select both of them go into edit mode and press a to select all the vertices now press p on your keyboard to get the separate menu and select by loose parts you can also find this menu under the header go to mesh separate and select by loose parts however now if you select the right wings you can see that the origin point of this will be that of the original wing to reset this you can select the two right wings right click and go to set origin and select origin to geometry now we can move them out of our way and model the final part which is the tummy of the bird to do this i'm going to duplicate the eye by pressing shift plus d move it to the middle of our reference use the scale tool and scale it on the x-axis and rotate it now let's go into sculpt mode with our grab brush selected we can now move these points to fit the shape now with all of our shapes done, for good practice we can move these parts into their individual collections. To do this select all the items that you want to move, press M on your keyboard to get the move to collection pop up and choose new collection. Before you click OK rename it to the appropriate section. I'm going to move the left wings, the right wings, the left leg, the right leg, hair and the body shapes all into their separate collections and rename the individual parts as well. And I'm also going to move these collections under a main collection to contain all the parts. So this is what my outline looks like. Keeping this all organized will help in the rigging and animating of this bird. Alright, now let's move into coloring this bird by adding some materials. Let's start with the body. Select the object, then on your properties panel, go to material properties. Click on new and rename it. Now click on the base color and select the eyedropper tool from the menu that pops up. Click on the body of our reference image to source the color. And make sure you turn down the specular to a zero and the roughness all the way up to a one if you don't want the surface of your bird to be shiny. To see the colors on your viewport you have to change the shading from solid to material preview. To do this press and hold the Z key and select material preview from the pie menu. Now let's try and repeat the process for the tummy. Select the object, add a new material, rename it, click on the base color and change it using the eyedropper tool and specular all the way down to a zero and the roughness all the way up to one. If you have some of the shapes in your bird that has the same color repeated, you can just select the object you want to apply the same material for and under the material properties select the relevant material from the drop down menu. Now using these steps you can apply the materials for all your shapes and after you're done applying the materials we can move into rigging this bird using simple constraints and animate around cycle to test it out. Now let's arrange our viewport to start the rigging process. Move the reference to the top after enabling the selection tag from the outliner. 
To help with the process, I am going to drag and drop this image with our steps on top of our old reference. Once again, all these files will be included in the free project files. With step 1 out of the way, let's focus on the second step, which is to bring all the shapes together. First go into solid shading by pressing and holding the Z key. Now press Alt plus Z to go into X-ray. Now let's roughly bring these elements together to make our bird using the step 2 image as a reference. Make sure all these shapes stay in straight neutral positions when you are placing them. And after we are done bringing them together we can move into step 3. In this step we are going to move the origin point of our shapes to where we want them to rotate from. We can select the object we want to change the origin of. And using our method from before we can hold shift and right click to move our cursor where we want the origin to be. Then right click once more to open the object context menu. Go into set origin and click on origin to 3d cursor. After you are done with setting up the origin point, double check if all the shapes are rotating from the new origin point. Now we can change the shading mode to material preview to see what it looks like. And since all the shapes are in the same plane, we can see that they are overlapping. To fix this, we can move into step 4 and place them in front of each other by adjusting their height on the Z axis. After you are done, double check one more time if the origin points are working properly. And now we can make an animatable rig by using just constraints. To do this, we are going to select the wings, hair, eye, beak, and lastly the body of the bird. Press Ctrl plus P to open up Set Parent 2 menu and click on Object Keep Transform. Now if you move the body, the other shapes parented to the body will follow. To rig the legs, select the feet first, then the leg. Press Ctrl plus P to open up the Set Parent 2 menu and click on Object Keep Transform. Now select the leg and select the thigh and repeat the process. You can do the same steps for the right leg as well. Now you should have two legs that work independently from the body. To add a master controller for both the body and the legs so that you can move the entire bird at once, we are going to add a circle by first selecting the whole bird. Then press and hold shift plus S on the keyboard and choose cursor to select it. Now add a circle by pressing shift plus A under mesh select circle and resize it to fit around the whole bird. Now let's parent the body and the two legs to the circle. To do this select the two thighs, then the main body shape that we parented the top half of the body shapes to earlier and lastly select the circle. Press Ctrl plus P to open up the set parent to menu and click on object to keep transformed. Now we have our bird ready to animate. If you want to learn how to animate this bird, I'll be making a tutorial on how to do a simple run animation using this bird. So keep an eye out for that. And before you go, here's a message from Ashita on our sponsor. This video was sponsored by OVR. OVR is an augmented reality platform and it works as a digital layer across the entire globe. The digital layer is actually made up of smaller hexagons and each of these hexagons can be purchased by anyone to create their own AR experience, ranging from static 3D content to games, avatars, live events, whatever your small heart desires. Um, everything that you actually put on your land there is available for other users to see. So anybody with the OVR app on their phones can actually walk around and check out your 3D AR experience in real time wherever you place it on the globe. Um, we were actually lucky enough to work with them for a few videos and currently behind the scenes we're working on trying to make a video that will show you guys exactly how to use that 3D workspace and set up your own scene um, using the OVR Builder. So if you're somebody who's interested in augmented reality and have been looking at this platform or are looking for just any platform that you could work and tinker around with this would be the platform for you and this video will probably be what could help you figure out how to uh, make your AR dreams come true so this is the scene that we're going to be putting uh, onto the land that OVR has given us um, it's Nemo and we're super excited to see what he looks like in AR um, and to go out into the city and you know see him roaming about so keep an eye out on our channel for when that video comes out and thank you again to OVR for sponsoring this video. Hey, here's a huge thank you to all our Patreons. 
Thank you so much for supporting us. If you too can support us, please go ahead and do that. We really appreciate that. And head over to our Discord if you want to hang around with like-minded creatives. This has been my first tutorial. So leave any feedback that you want. I'm sorry about how the audio sounds, but the next one I'll definitely improve it. But feel free to leave some suggestions and stuff. Peace.